Welcome back to BeamNG Drive. But every time I crash, the trailers double. And this time, there's three main things I want to find out. First of all, at what point will this 2000 horsepower Gabriel T series not be able to pull any more trailers? Secondly, will I be able to feel the trailers through my wrist snapping 8 Nm steering wheel? And last but definitely not least, what goofy transition will there be for today's delightful sponsor? War Thunder. But anyways, back to now, where as you can see, I have zero trailers. Why do I have zero trailers? Well, to find out if I can feel the trailers through my broken forearms, I first need to know how it feels to drive without them. Plus, I also want to make a sick drifting montage. Bro, this thing drifts so well, it's crazy. Shit. Thank God I saved it. How do I turn it on? How is that a crap? And so gentlemen, as you can see, we have our first trailer, weighing in at a wonderful 8.5 tons. <sighs> on top of my head, you can see the reflection of the trailer and a very angry pigeon behind. And yeah, I am gonna have to keep a very close eye to it. That rock was bulging a lot because uh, of course we're on top of Italy as usual with the most massive vehicles possible. So yeah, I'm gonna have to double check every time just to make sure I'm not flattening the 18 Indians inside one of the pigeons. But now talking about serious stuff, can I feel the trailer? I, I honestly don't know. L let's try to hit a corner at not so legal speeds. Okay. You, you can feel it kinda, kinda pulling you from side to side once it oscillates, look at that. That is sick. What isn't so sick, unfortunately, is the fact that we have 1800 degrees of rotation, which is double what your G29 can do. So there, there's gonna have to be a lot of fucking shuffling around, which I don't like because this thing burns my hands, man. I have baby hands, so yeah. All right, easy. I, I think I'm going way too quick. How are we gonna take that? No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Slow down. I, I just broke something. I know, I just broke something. <laughs> what was that shaking? Oh no, that's not even too bad. Look at that. Look at that. Like a G. Now let's use all these 2,000 horsepowers. Shit. I don't think that was a crap. Also, you know what would be a wise choice? Turning on engine braking. How do I do that? All right, guys, we have the number one farting machine. Listen to that. Amazing, amazing. Okay, this time, let's check the other mirror. Bro, this legit feels like Euro Truck Simulator. This is so cool. This is honestly so sick. Let's, you know what, let's go for it. How is it wheel spinning? The throttle got stuck, I'm not even joking. Why is the pedal not going back up? <laughs> All right, so I've loosened up the, the screw thingy, the washer, I know how it's called. Did we murder someone? No way, we actually didn't. They're all alive. Let, let me check. That was a crash, which means we now get a second trailer. But there is a problem. There is no coupling system to attach another trailer. That's because we have to pull it out, so let's pull it out. So now, why does it stall every time? Two hours later. Oh, and so gentlemen, we can finally start doubling our trailers. What the f are you telling me we did all that work just for it to get added on top? Are you serious? I am actually pissed off. And it f***ing stalls. This video is such a pain. <laughs> Do I need to explain why this is terrible? I mean this. So not only is it, you know, obviously heavier at 12 and a half tons, but yeah, apart from the weight, which isn't that bad, come on. The thing is, the center of mass of the trailer is now much higher, which means that it's gonna do tippy-toeing 
if I turn too quick. Yeah, this could not be worse now. It really could not. And just, just watch as something terrible happens now. Maybe because I start driving like an absolute buffoon. See, see, that's what I was telling you. That is not a crash. How's it still up? Let's inspect the damage. <laughs> How did it get on top of that? Can I save it? Oh. I think I, no, 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 don't tip, don't tip, don't tip. No. Can you stop oscillating for f sake? Gentlemen, you know what? The steering still works fine. It looks brand new. That is not a crap. But I mean, we really cannot afford to crash like on these mountains multiple times because I suppose we'll get, you know, actual trailers. So yeah, going forwards, we better play it safe. All right, easy on this turn. That's an odd looking pigeon. Huh. That is an odd looking pigeon. Enhance. Enhance even more. Whoa. Whoa. War Thunder, the world's most comprehensive combat game with vehicular devices, including over 2,000 tanks, planes, helicopters, and... Are you a fan of volcanoes? Huh? Fly into them in War Thunder. Are you a fan of the weather app? Make it rain in War Thunder. Do you have exquisite tasting music? War Thunder, join over 70 million players in epic PvP battles, featuring friendly voice chat, advanced formations, and classified military. War Thunder will provide maximum neuron activation by showing you how you brutally massacred your opponent two different times, thanks to the detailed X-ray damage view. And talking about detail, War Thunder is absolutely full of it, with detailed vehicles, detailed damage, detailed graphics, and detailed customization. And the best part, it's completely free and available on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. Oh, I bet it has microtransactions. Well, guess what? You won't need them if you download War Thunder using my link in the description and claim your massive sign-up bonus, including multiple premium vehicles, in-game currency, and the exclusive Eagle of Valor decoration, available for a limited time only. And you know what else is available for a limited time only? My life. I want a lawyer. So not only is the justice system completely broken, but also is my clutch. But now, gentlemen, we have a real problem because, as you can see in the rear view mirror, we have two, two double-decker trailers. You can definitely feel them in the wheel, by the way. It's, it's much harder to turn. But yeah, the truth is, we'll, I don't think we'll make it through this rock. We, we need to switch lane because otherwise, like the trailer will hit it. Okay, we made it through, even though we brushed some trees. Pigeon, I'm sorry. Oh, we didn't hit him. What is he doing? That is a certified Italian driver. But yeah, the thing is, being on these tight Italian mountain roads, if we get another hairpin, or even like any tight corner, with two trailers, I think I can manage it, but this is so stressful. With four trailers, ain't no way, bro. So we gotta be really careful, which is why it is time to go flat out. Did I stall it? Okay, slight money shift, but we are back. This does not feel nice. No, I don't like this. I really don't like this. Seeing them in the mirrors as a constant reminder is also unpleasant, to say the least. All right, hard pull. Going downhill, that, no, that is not a great idea. Slight braking. But you know, I was actually expecting it to be worse. I saved it! But still, it's still oscillating. Go straight, go straight! No! <laughs> how did we save that? We! I! How did I save that? I am the professional drivist here. Will we fit here? Oh, f Oh, f It didn't fit. Which is why we have... Am I going to keep stalling it every time? We have four trailers for a combined towing weight of 48 tons. Just like your mom. Now this pigeon needs to move. Sir, wait, I'll speak to him in Italian. Well, guys, as you can see, the road is clear, so I'll just pull forward, okay? Are we actually doing it? What the hell is this? Rock in the road, let's avoid that. Oh no, another one of those holes in the rock. Uh, I think this one is high enough. Please, please. 
We're alive. We are alive. Hell yes. Also, the steering is so weird now. It feels lighter now. I don't know. It's so vague. Like, you don't know where it's going. And we definitely need engine brake because my brakes are on. Actually, you know, I like a challenge. As if this wasn't enough of one. So let's not use engine brake. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I am very sorry, but you should proceed with caution, especially when the vehicle in front of you is Drake's car. Okay, the tight road is over. Look at them. Look at these boys. And now, I think we're gonna have some hairpins in front. I don't know if we're gonna make this. I'll try, I really will try my best. Okay, this is what I was talking about. No, no, first gear. Over rev the bit. Okay, so... My inner Euro Truck player is coming out now and I'm going to try to take this turn with four f***ing trailers. And you know what? If you guys get this video to 100,000 likes, I'll actually play Euro Truck in the most painful way possible. Can we do this? I'm trying to stay, like, all on the outer edge so the trailers actually have space. Let's check it from the outside. Oh, f What? What are you doing? 12 seconds later. Oh, and now your friend joins the party as well. F*** it. Che cazzo fa questo? <laughs> you asked for this. I, I, I'm genuinely sorry, but you asked for this, alright? I can't believe we actually made it though. Look at that. Don't tip, don't tip. Don't tip. And the thing is, when one starts oscillating, all of the other ones start to do it as well. Ah, I want to get away from these roads. I think there's still definitely one more hairpin. Probably another one after that. I'm not too sure. Let's see. Oh, no, 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 no. Look at them all leaning on the outside. Break, break, break. Oh, this is bad. This is very bad. What is this pigeon doing, my god? I now understand why truckers are bold, because this sh is so stressful. I mean, not that truckers do this kind of stuff, but come on, come on. No, 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 no. Don't tip over, don't tip over. Why am I leaning like it's actually gonna do anything? But yeah, as I was saying about the brakes, since they all share the same system, the more trailers you have, the more it actually takes to respond. So if I press the brake pedal in three, two, one, it actually takes some time to respond. There is like more delay the more trailers you have. All right, time for another hairpin. I think the one we just did was the nastiest one, but I don't know, I don't want to speak too soon. Come on, we may actually do it without killing any pigeons this time. Unless this guy, yeah. <laughs> Look at the last trailer swinging. Come on, we're almost down. We're almost down. Oh no, this is even nastier. Oh no. I'm gonna try to stick, like, as close to the outside as possible, and I'm gonna do that by opening the door and checking for myself. That didn't work. It feels so heavy now. See? Look at that, look at that. It, it just wants to center. Okay, easy. They're going off-road. I'm taking my little trailers off-road. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. This is actually crazy. Guys, I think we actually did it. Look at that. Yeah, that's the coastal road. We actually did it. I'm so happy right now. What are my trailers doing? Oh my god! So, gentlemen, as you just saw, we have eight trailers. Which, if you're curious, is a hundred tons. Yeah. We're carrying your mom, right? I'm gonna pull. Come on. Come on, 2,000 horses. Look at that. We are going. Holy shit. Oh, I see some pretty scary leaning back there. 40? We were going 45? And that's miles per hour, so for my beloved European boys, what is that? 75 kilometers per hour in no time. So yeah, I don't think we'll, we'll have any power issues unless we get 32 trailers or something. This is so fucking cool. This game is so fucking cool. Oh, we have wheel spin. It's struggling up the hill. My engine is gonna melt if I keep doing this. Come on. Come on, big boy. Come on! So, we have a problem now, and it's called roundabout. 
I think we may have to cut. I'm gonna try anyways. Look at that, the trailers are actually taking the roundabout. I am actually genuinely impressed, like by everything, even the fact that this is working. Now what I didn't like and subscribe was lining up all of these trailers. Even if you do it with the world editor, which is cheating, and something I obviously didn't do, it takes forever. So BBNG devs, please give us a tool that automatically places them so we don't have to spend half of our lives doing it. Can we catch up to them pigeons? Come on, come on. Where's my trail? Oh my. Oh sh. 16 trailers, gentlemen. Let's see if I can launch it without stalling. The result will be a fried clutch, but look at that. Yup. It is pretty long. This is, yeah, this has to be the, the longest thing we've ever driven. Even longer than the, the Roamer in the Every Time I Crash It Gets Longer video. As for the weight, 200 tons. So you know what? Let's see how fast we can actually go. We are going downhill, but look at that. 50? Are they still there? Yeah. Oh, the back one is having fun. Will it fit? Oh my god. Oh yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at it. Look at it. This is the best thing I've ever seen in game. Oh yeah, I think we lost the last tanker or something. Yeah, we lost them. But the trailer is still attached. Which means, you know, the last thing I want to see is... Will it do the whip effect? And you may be wondering, what is the whip effect? Well, you know when you swing the whip, that it gets worse as it goes forward. We're being pulled back, what the f Are we good? Why do I keep exploding for fun? Play Wolf Hunter for free right now on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. And use my link in the description to claim the amazing Ultra Bussing, available for a limited time only. Sign up bonus for new and returning players. I haven't played in six months.